This is an example to design a doubly reinforced beam. The question asks us to check the adequacy of the proposed rectangular beam design. The beam size is 230 times 390. The depth is 330 and the position of the compression reinforcement bar is 50. The concrete strength is 25 and the bar strength is 500 Newton per mm square and the loading is 165 kilonewton meter. You may pause the video for a while for you to work out the solution. To solve this question, first you need to compute the care factor. You found that the care factor is 0 0.264, which is more than 0 0.167. Therefore, you know that it is a doubly reinforced beam. Next, you need to determine the stress in the compression steel bar. To do that, you need to find a ratio of D prime divided by X. The X is assumed to be 0 0.45 D which is equal to 149 and the ratio of d prime per x it will be 0 0.334 which is less than 0 0.38 when the ratio is less than 0 0.38 you know that the compression steel bar has already yield therefore you're going to use the bar strength multiply with a factor of safety of 0 0.87 and you will get the compressive stress in the bar equals to 435 Newton per mm square. Next, you determine the compression steel area required using this equation. Substitute the relevant numbers into the equations you get the required area is 499 mm square the provided compression steel area of 2t20 is equivalent to 628 mm square which is greater than 499 mm square therefore the compression reinforcement bar is considered adequate Next, you use these equations for you to determine the amount of reinforcement bar required for tension. Substitute the relevant value, you will get the required area of 1387 mm square. The provided area of 3T25, which is equivalent to 1470 is actually greater than the required 1387 therefore the provided bar area is considered acceptable next you need to make sure the x is always less than 0.5 d in order to ensure that the member doesn't fail in sudden manner use these equations to find the differences between the compression steel bar and also tension steel bar. Additional compression steel bar is given in relatively to the tension steel bar by the ratio of 1.55 which is greater than 1, therefore it is considered acceptable. Next you will check for serviceability based on the chapter 6 for the aspect of maximum and minimum AS, maximum and minimum spacing, maximum bar size and you ensure that the shearling provider have to be at least greater than mm diameter.